It's, it's deranged, deranged royal fay. They'll act crazy all day. They'll apologize for the fail, but still scream and wail. It's deranged royal fay. Yeah. Well, well, well. Look who's back for a bit more derangement. It is I, Royal Fay, here for some more crafty shenanigans on this crafty Wednesday. First episode we've done since rebranding and it coming from Wayward Wednesday to now Crafty Wednesday. All the same, Wayward be removed, the stockings have not. We are still a risk tick, most fabulous. Today, I will be making some fairy wings that I designed for my drag king persona. It's a long story, I'll explain it in my video for when I do my drag king makeup for the first time ever. And as a little bit of a throwback, we've got my old skirt that I wore the first time I ever made fairy wings on camera, or in general. So, without further ado, let's get back into it. I'm going to be honest, it's been a very long time since I made fairy wings. So I'm going to be doing this mostly by memory. Not that my memory's great, but we'll see. Also, I've got some brand new supplies on top of some of the old ones. And um, I have no idea if my new wires could be strong enough, but we'll see. It all just came from Amazon today. It's very thin, so that means it'll be very likely that it won't show up obviously with the wings. But on the other hand, might not be strong enough to hold the weight. However, the fair wings we'll be making today are going to be very small and only two wings rather than four or six. Um, I have already sketched them beforehand and I'm still trying to figure out, but I guess I will figure out on the way, what colors I really want to do here. If I want to do the opposite colors, if I want to do silver, yada, yada, yada. I also got some brand new paint and um, I also had the difficulty of trying to find the kind of stockings I wanted because I'm used to just using... Um, the very cheap, like 49 cent ones from Walmart. So we'll see if these are going to work out. I usually like to use white, but we got a, uh, we've got some beige nude. I didn't grab matches, um, but yes, uh, it's going to be completely painted. So the color, I guess, doesn't matter too much as long as it's light enough. I'm gonna go grab some matches. So I don't know where the matches are, but I do have this and I have a lighter, so hopefully that will work for our purposes. Um, hopefully this won't also be too big, or even the match be too big, but we'll see. Um, if I ever get any buzzes during this on this little guy, uh, I'm not sponsored, but it's amazing. It's this thing called Bond Touch, and it lets you keep, you know, with, in touch with, quite literally in touch with people from across the globe and long distance, things like that. It doesn't have to be purely used for romantic. It can be used for families, friends, if you're that close. Um, I also know it's very helpful to some people who are neurodivergent and, you know, having that kind of bond with someone, be it family or friend, is very pleasant for them. They are actually coming out in June with one that you could do for multiple people. So great for polyamory or great for people with a bunch of kids. So yeah, that's, that's wonderful. Um, all right, so the first thing we do is we start to shape the wings. Like I said, I'm going to go very tiny for these guys. Just how tiny though is really the question. Mm, making that bend a little too early. The reason I'm making it so tiny is because I don't want them to, to be too much the focus of my drag looks. Um, I'm mostly even just making them because the name of my, my drag name Fairy Regal. Um, or is it Regal Fairy? Not to remind myself, but it's kind of like a double pun. Uh, fairy is spelled F A E, capital R E A, capital F as well. Yeah, that seems about small enough for my preference here. Um, and then Regal is spelled similar, where it's R E A, capital G A L. And it's kind of like a pun off of you know, gender, gal, re, gal, re being a gal. Ha 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 ha. I'm so clever, aren't I? I really appreciate those pliers. I can cut the, it came with the wire. So I'm able to cut the wire with the pliers. And that is, um, heaven sent. 
you will totally be seeing these in my makeup video too. Should they turn out successful, who knows? I might utterly fail this. Um, it might be not strong enough, things like that. So whatever happens, happens. But yeah, so the reason I don't want them to stamp too much is my look is mostly going to be like dandy, gothic, vampiric. And that's actually why I picked the colors that I did. Um, it looks very blue on that, but I actually think I want to be a little more violet than blue. Remember, your wings are sisters, not twins. Or brothers, not twins. They are siblings, not twins. So if they can't be perfectly the same exact size, that's not a big deal. Just like breasts and testicles. Am I allowed to say that? I'm gonna get demonetized. Just like how I said porn the other day, my asexuality video. Aha, here we go. Yes, I'm thinking there, the, the reason I'm thinking similar is that they're more like this rather than like this if you get what I mean. So if they're singular, I'm able to get them off the shoulders more easily um, than together. Uh, I've decided to use a rather boring um, ribbon so it doesn't stand out too much and doesn't pop up too much because I'm mostly going to be wearing like reds and blacks, um, you know, so. Well, we, uh, I have all this, you know, all this here because it can be messy. It's like you're, like you're carving a pumpkin. You want to make sure you have, you know, protection on your floor, you dirty binds. Oh boy, I should have made sure I had some scissors because, um, this is probably going to be too big for the wings as my fishnet, fishnets, my stockings usually are. I didn't think to stretch that out as much as I did, did I? Boy, I might have made these wings a little bit too small. But it is what it is what it is. Here we go. That's the shape I'm starting to like. They're not fabric stockings, but they'll do. My fabric stockings are currently in a lockbox. For reasons. Just hilarious because I thought this could possibly happen. I was like, no, I'm doing fine. I thought for my taste it'd be nice to use some like classical little music note things. Yeah. Focus on it, damn you. Focus on it. Focus. You know, it's hilarious because fairies are supposed to love glitter, you know. I absolutely despise glitter. I say as I have glitter all over my face. Wing number one, thus far. All right. Let's see if I'll be less stupid about cutting you. My sweetheart and I just started watching Our Flag Means Death and oh, we both love it. I keep almost unintentionally getting my sweetheart to keep getting into gay media. Uh, like I started playing, um, Shira, the Princess of Power, and uh, I put on a few episodes in the background while he was gaming, and uh, he he stopped for a bit, and it was like, N next episode. <laughs> ah. Wonderful, beautiful. No, that's love. Watching gay shows together, even if both of you aren't gay, even if only one of you is gay. Alright, we'll see if the trip is going to work. Did I wait too long? What did I do that for? It looks actually very frayed. There we go. Now we've got something. Yeah. Oh. 
This isn't going as planned. Almost done with this fire bit. But who doesn't love a bit of fire? In case it wasn't the most clear, Royal Fay is a bit of a pyromaniac. I mean, who doesn't love a bit of fire? Ah, I forgot to be drawing on these. That's important. Here we go. I still don't know what colors I'm going to go for. Well, I mean, I know what colors I'm going to need, but I don't know quite what I want. Why not sing everything? Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Yeah, yeah, I'm using drinking water, so what? Am I known as perfectly sane Royal Fay? No, I'm known as deranged Royal Fay. So fuck all rules. Let's get painting. You see, painting's not really my skills per se. If this wasn't obvious, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I bet artists are cringing upon, they're, they're rolling around in their graves seeing my horrendous methods. Either there's no longer any more living artist or um, my art's so bad, I killed them. And they died of embarrassment. Secondhand embarrassment. That I dare appropriate this art, the work, their life, their passion, and call it, dare to call it art. making a mockery of the very thing they love that they died. So I very clearly don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm not saying that to be funny. I, I'm literally, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm just doing it. The life of ADHD, right? She's a mucky. The spiral claim. I share birthday of Jinji Ito. It makes up for sharing a birthday of mm, she who may not be named. So yes, I appreciate it. I get to have spoopy cat uncle birth the Japanese spooky cat uncle uncle's birthday. Instead of associating it with the person I've had associated with my entire life. Harry Potter and his creator. I had so many Harry Potter themed birthdays when I was a child. Oh, my family were such fans of this franchise. This is atrocious. Do I know what the hell I'm doing? No, I absolutely do not. I totally need to make a pirate drag outfit for one of these days. I need to get me a pirate hat. Now that would be fabulous. I very clearly don't know what the hell I'm doing. I don't know why I held it so far away. Here's, here's a close-up of the other one. You see, my pronouns aren't he, him. They are his majesty. As an albino, yeah, my pronouns are your majesty. All right, the chaos I'll be causing for now, I'm going to let the silver dry, and I'll be right back. Right, I think we are ready for the next step. They might not be 100% perfectly dry, but I'm not perfectly sane. So, also apologize, I just realized I left the fan on, so you might be hearing that. So if I had to compete with it, then I had to compete with it. Okay, Sora, Sora, whatever will be, will be, will be. I'm gonna put, I don't know why I'm holding both at the same time. Nice color. Nice gothy color. I'm going to have you propped up with this. So you can just sit in front of the fan. I have a little tiny desk fan. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm painting my floor now, my carpet. If you could 
behave, that would be amazing. All right. Very vampiric. Yes, we are living for the vampiric vibes of this red. Nice crimson red. Well, not if I'm actually good at this, at the very least. What matters is that you're enjoying it. And it's not like it's harming anyone. It's not like it affects anyone in any way. And that's that's what that's all that matters. Having a good time, not affecting anyone. Mind your own fucking business. That's all that matters at the end of the day. When it comes to things that might not be great, but not bad in the moral sense. Okay, well, lesson learned. Next time I will start with the base color and then build up from there. Lesson has been learned. Or has it? Knowing me, I will forget and just repeat the same mistakes. There's still going to be uh, black on the edges, and then I'm going to touch up the silver, because it needs it. I might have put way too much paint. Spread it out! Spread it! Spread them wings. Spread them wings. I don't smoke any substances. So I also I wouldn't know what position this would be in. Okay, story time. I once worked at Chipotle, and for those who don't know what Chipotle is, it's like a it's like um subways for burritos and tacos. Um So I was rolling a burrito, as was my job, and the guy I was serving uh was like like rolling a blunt, huh? And I'm like I'd have no clue. Is it? Does this look like rolling a blunt? I imagine it quite different, but maybe I'm wrong. I've never rolled a blunt before. Nor have I smoked one, nor will I ever. I'm not judging to those who do want to smoke. I'm not crazy about being around it. Um, I'm, not too, I'm not going to judge anyone who does cannabis, especially if they need it for medical reasons and such. Um, I'll judge people who do cannabis as much as I'm going to judge people who drink alcohol. Um... My drug of choice is sugar and candy and prescription medication. That doesn't mean I'm better than anyone in any way. It's just that's what works for me. And whatever works for someone else is what works for someone else. So as long as they're not harming anyone in the process. Which, yes. So that was an interesting one. Where some, I, I, think, I think people assume I'm probably a pothead. They're probably like, of course you have blue hair and pronouns. I bet you smoke weed all day too. Puffer. I know puffers also used to be a uh, slang against queer people, so yeah. I am queer, so I'd probably be considered a puffer by some. It's mostly a, something for the UK, or puff, I guess would be the more appropriate version of that. Which probably is not dry enough yet, but what I'm about to face is the consequences of my actions, so... Let's get on with it. Oh, that very much is not at all dry. Let's fuck it up. If anyone's gonna fuck up my fair wings, it's going to be me. This way it keeps anyone else from ruining my fair wings. Because I'll ruin them myself. Can't be hurt if you hurt yourself. I have screwed everything up, but that is not unusual for me. That's just how I do, baby. How? I wanted to blend this, but this is not going to happen. I've made that line too thick. Thick like Gigantamax Pikachu. That is a thick boy. And a very good boy, I imagine. Maybe. It's Pikachu. Pikachu's kind of a little shit sometimes. But you know, I can't blame him. If he doesn't want to be enslaved, that is valid as heck. You know what, folks? Valid! Let's see if our editing me will remember to insert the valid emoji. Fun fact about that emoji. Um, I went to this thing called T-Camp, which was like, you know, a summer camp. 
but for trans and gender questioning people. Um, and uh, we had all kept on saying valid a lot that weekend um, because we all just want this is just something that trans people want to do is just let everyone know, let each other know that you're they're, you're valid. Um, and uh, so. Um, eventually we made ourselves a discord server and we were making custom emojis or uploading emojis that people requested and I was like yo guys we need to make a valid emoji and they're like on it and then they made that emoji and I've been using it since because it's a good emoji I love the little sparkles I hate glitter but I love the sparkles on that emoji specifically I don't like shiny things I don't like glitter, and I do not like very vibrant, vi vibrant, vibrant. I, I don't like very bright, vibrant colors. So like highlighter colors and neons. I can make exceptions for, uh, except for example, this is a fade. That's really pretty, it's nice contrast. Um, very intense, like high, like neon red with a nice black. Okay, not so bad. Um, I like pastels. I do. Um, but like neon and highlighters i do not and that to be said though um i am not shaming anyone who would or does like those colors that's very important that people realize that just because you personally do not like it does not mean you are shitting on those who do uh that's a very common thing that happens in the pineapple thing like just because you personally just do not like it does not mean you need to shame people who do pineapple on pizza do you not ask me what my opinion is on that one? I'm kidding. I don't have an opinion on that one because I don't like pineapples. So I obviously am not putting pineapple on my pizza. But I don't give a fuck if someone else does. What does that do to me? It doesn't change anything for me in the slightest. Do you like pineapple on your pizza? Good for you. Enjoy your pizza. I will not accept a slice if you offer it to me. I probably will pick off the pineapples if I'm hungry enough. My sweetheart jokingly is disturbed by anyone that likes it. Um, we have someone that we consider our son. He's a little bit younger than us, um, and he's a good he's a good lad. He's a very good lad. Um, and uh, he likes he likes food. Uh, one of our other friends also really likes food, and uh, so he likes pineapple on his pizza and he likes fruitcake and you know things like that that are usually controversial to say that you like and um he he i think he probably went out to pizza with him at one point and he messaged me we have to disown our son and i'm like velma you stop that i don't like to yuck yuck people's yums you enjoy what you enjoy, I enjoy what I enjoy, as long as it doesn't harm anyone, who the fuck cares? I'm a fairy bitch, you think I give a shit about human standards? I'm also deranged! <laughs> who am I to fucking judge? This looks like garbage, it looks like garbage, but it's my garbage, it's my garbage. It's lovely, it's awful, I hate everything. It's lovely, it's awful, I hate everything, woo! In case you're wondering what's going on here, um, I don't have a normal speaking voice. I just speak how I do in the moment. I'm not ever trying to purposely play it up unless I'm doing voice acting or something. I just, whatever comes out is what comes out. Um, and that is also in regards to my accent. I don't even know what my accent is anymore. I was just in the UK for like six fucking months. Um, but funny enough, I was around, you know, northern people, not south. Um, but it's just, what happens is what happens. I do not question what I have anymore. Um, ever since I was young, I had people ask me what my accent was that were like from the same... Uh, state has me and I was just like I don't know I thought I had the same accent as you but I guess not um so it is what it is what it is and I don't know what the fuck it is 
at gay bars, do they have men's and women's rooms? Because I imagine gay bars aren't strictly queer men. Just probably primarily. There is maybe uh, two, maybe three gay bars nearby me, and they're all like half an hour farther away. So like, one's in one city, and then the other two I think might be in the same city. If there is a second, third one. There is a third one. So, um, obviously be performing drag at the gay bars. If I ever get the chance, if I ever get my ass out of the house, if I ever get my ass out of depression, I will be doing drag at the gay bars. If I can. And they say I'd be looking for tips, but I, it's only if I get to be tips. I mean, maybe it'll be fun to, for them to have some diversity and have drag kings instead of just drag queens. Not that drag queens are at all boring. Drag queens are amazing. Um, if I was a cis man, I would totally be a drag queen. If it wasn't for me having a unfair advantage, I would be a drag queen. Because, oh my gods. Um, but I have an unfair advantage, so I'm going to be a drag king. Which I have less of an unfair advantage. I'd still have an unfair advantage, but less so than if I was to be... A drag queen. My work is atrocious. Now let it dry and then I'll come back to um, add on the ability to adjust them onto me. Actually, and then um, I might att attach some pearls and things of the like. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do this or not, but I'm going to put a little bit of pearl slash rhinestones on it. Because whilst I may not be a fan of shiny things, fairies are, and regals are, and what am I but a fairy regal, or regal fairy, I can't remember what the name is, I am fairy regal, regal fairy, fuck, but yes, my plan is to have like maybe one big pearl here, and then a few rhinestones that way, and um, mmm, Glitter, my favorite, right? I'll flip the glitter on now. Huh, that's what I'm doing. I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing half the time. I know fuck all. Especially about whatever that I'm doing. I just do it. I think my art is mostly just an act of impulsivity. Even if it's planned out, it's still just impulsivity. I might have just ruined everything, and that's okay, because that's to be expected when I am in charge. You see what I did? I ruined everything. I just ruined everything I touch. Might as well ruin the other one. And stop this train now. We'll make it equal. If anyone tells me, they're not gonna stay. So later on, after they've fallen off, I'll just, you know, hot glue them on. For the purpose of this video, though, you get to see just my outlet chaos as I further ruin my own wings. Isn't that fun? And I almost glue pearls to my nails. When I first ever um, was being discovered to be performing much with my gender identity and gender expression, my mother had found uh, my jock strap and was very clearly confused why I would need a jock strap. And um, so. I was like, well, you uh, see, I am um, practicing drag kinging. <laughs> and yeah. All right, so normally what I do with my wings is I usually attach them like so, and then I put it like flowers or ribbons or whatever, and then I make it so that, you know, they're attached to my back. Sorry, they, they would not be bent this way, but we're doing it differently this time. I have no idea how I'm actually going to 
pull this off. I should totally just make it into a harness. <gasps> I'm gonna look up the, fit, the wing harnesses. I need to make them higher, but it's a start. Um, hopefully by first Friday, I would have figured this out better, but that's actually not bad. Especially for an impromptu, on the spot, improvised, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, harness. I think I need to shorten these a little bit. Damn, I'm actually really happy with how that turned out for not knowing what the hell I was doing. <laughs> It needs a little bit of adjusting and things like that, but you know, for not knowing what the hell I was doing, it's actually not that bad. I'm actually impressed with myself for making a harness like on the spot like that. I need to cut these. And I probably need to make it a little tighter and I need to move the wings more to the side. Harness even, maybe. But yeah, um, and it goes very well in the gay bar scene, so. Glitter, 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 shimmer, glitter, shimmer, glitter, shimmer. Yeah, um, so that is us fairies getting up to our crafty shenanigans for Crafty Wednesday. I'm so sorry, I paused because I burped. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey of mischief and mayhem. <laughs> ah, you know, it's kind of fun getting back into the crafts. Now, the fun part is cleaning up the mess. So I'm gonna have fun with that off screen. But all the same, thank you for watching. I hope you will have a gay day. Make it flap, make it flap, make it flap, make it flap, make it flap. Well, the quad that you stayed, yet, yet you wasted yet another, another day. day. Their videos are a bore, but they've got lots more in store. It's deranged. Royal Fae. Yeah.